OBS fucking crashed. What can I say? It crashed twice. And not just once, twice. So, I chose to not play the intro to this movie. I am just here to tell you that the stream got interrupted. Apparently, uh, I can't use OBS for more than three hours in one sitting. Because if I do, it's gonna crash. It's just gonna fucking crash. Fucking twice today. Because I tried restarting the stream. And it crashed again. I don't know why... How do other streamers stream for like 10 or 11 hours? <gasps> oh, my bottle of water scared me. Anyway, how do other streamers stream for like even 24 hour streams I've seen happen? But when I want to stream for like two or three hours, pochta, sit up straight. Uh, my stream crashes. OBS crashes every fucking time. I stream for like three hours. It it uh it crashes. That's insane. That shouldn't happen. I'm wondering. Should I keep streaming now and continue reading uh, Goodbye 80 or should I do it next Monday? Because maybe it's a good way to stop the stream. Nah. Nah, let's continue. Let's continue this stream. And maybe we can take down the first stream and stitch this one to the, the previous one and upload a video. Doesn't matter. Anyway, welcome to the stream. The second part. I'm gonna I'm just gonna continue streaming now. Instead of next Monday. While we're here. Just gonna continue streaming now. Uh but yeah, the, the stream crashed, in any, uh, if anyone was wondering what the fuck was happening. It, it fucking crashed. Uh, I feel so bad for you. Well, thank you. OBS couldn't handle all the tangents. Yeah. I think that's a known issue, actually. Not the first time I hear of it. The manga be so fire, it burned a hole into your CPU. Water bottles do be scary. Water bottle jump scare. OBS is sexist. Yeah, here we continue, continue. I think most streamers use screencast or bandicam instead of OBS. I have no idea. Uh, anyway. Let's continue reading. Goodbye, Eddie, now. Hello? Wow. Bitch, there we go. Begging you, just leave us be. Anyway, I wanted to say... Is, um, that Fujimoto makes a visual story like a movie because he's also a director in, in his way when he's drawing manga. Because he's choosing the layout, the composition of the scene, the angle of the camera. He's, he's choosing everything, uh, what is being said and how the in expressions body language, everything, he has con full control over. Whereas, you know, as a director of a movie, he'd have the, the additional hassle of picking actors and then making sure they do it properly. But here he has full control as a mangaka and as an artist, like a person who draws, I think that is uh, even better for him. Even uh, more to his tastes because he enjoys making uh, comics. Making art. Um, like drawing a visual story. Not filming a visual story. I'm surprised Fujimoto wasn't uh, confirmed to be more involved in Chainsaw Man's anime. Uh, I think he, yeah, he, his part was done when he made the manga. <laughs> the rest is someone else's problem. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna continue reading Goodbye Eddie and, and finish it today. Okay. <laughs> the way he's looking at her. All sternly. And cut. Ew. 
How did- Oh! I said the movie writes itself instead of, um... Uh, th this is better than what he could have scripted. But it was scripted! That's good! You you, you don't know, no, th the lines blur! I like blurry lines. I love that. I love that. He said he wants them to do as they please. He wants the anime to be its own. As I said, he did whatever he could with his manga. The rest is someone else's vision. I think Fujimoto actually is involved in the production of the anime. If I didn't read the fake news, that is. So. So, yeah, phew. How did I do? M my acting wasn't too stiff. Oh, no, sir. You are very good. Glad to hear it. I did theater with my friends after college. I up and quit when I didn't succeed right away, though. I like the dad. I love him. Really, though, Eddie, thank you for spending so much time with you, duh. I mean it. Not at all. I'm glad to. It's a lot of work to film a movie, isn't it? How much it... Excuse me, have you shot? We have about one-third left to shoot. Really? Isn't that something? So this sounds like the scene we just did, but are you sure you're okay with letting Yuta shoot this movie? Huh? If he makes a bad movie, it really will get mocked and treated like a plaything. Me and Yuta, and you too, won't we all get hurt? Hmm, well, um, to quote a friend of mine, Creation is all about getting into the audience's problems to make... Wait, what? Creation is all about getting into the audience's problems to make them laugh and cry, right? Well, it wouldn't be fair if creators didn't get hurt too, wouldn't it? Oh, I love that. I love that. I love it. I've never thought about, about it in, in this way. I love that. It's part of the creation process. Love that. That's nice. That's a... something new. I, I keep repeating myself, but I love that line. This is where you start questioning what's real and what isn't. Yeah. It's, uh... The group's vision, they put like a whole council together to make the anime, yeah. <laughs> that was a good line, right? Should we shoot another take of that? Yes, absolutely! So what the fuck? This is... And it, and the, <laughs> this is a movie within a movie within a movie! You can't hear a thing, it's just you, I think, because I think I, I'm very audible to everyone else. That is, okay, yeah, a uh, filmception. Uh, the beach. Oh, they're playing together at the beach! What I just noticed, when you scroll fast through the manga on Manga Plus, the pictures actually move a little, like animation. Oh, let's try it. Yeah. Very nice. Love that. Love it. Eddie, if you were a vampire, how can you be out in this? If if you were a, if you were a vampire, how can you be out in the sunlight? A little bit doesn't hurt. I spent most of my time inside watching movies. Okay, then do garlic and crosses not affect you either? I hate garlic. I hate scallions and onions too. Bro, I love all of them. I love garlic, onions, scallions. How old are you? Your real age? Hmm. I'm about 1,200 years old. Over your long life, have you gone through any struggles? It makes me sad that everyone I know will die before me. Humans die in a scant 100 years. That's why I envied you. Huh? 
If you watch your movie, you get to see your mother again, don't you? Isn't that an incredibly beautiful thing? You're the only one who praises me, Eddie. Hehe. <laughs> you always watch movies with me. You're even acting in my movie for free. I wish I could thank you somehow. Then let me drink your blood. What the fuck? So let me hospital. I came to visit. Huh? Are you recording? They're... It, it's good what they're doing. That they're playing with the, uh, viewer. Uh, with the movie watchers, like, of the future. Like, the classroom. Like this. They, they are not sure what's real and what's not. Just like, uh, I think what his dad uh, said to him, that he always blended fantasy into reality. He's always done that since childhood. That's coming through with this movie. And um, it's still also a story from his heart. It still has creative parts. But also has autobiographical bits. It, it has lots of blending, is what I'm trying to say. Lots of blending of reality and hyper-reality and fantasy. Her character reminds me of Togata from Fire Punch. How... if I don't want to read your comment. Maybe I should delete it because it's... um. Because it's a spoiler. Uh, I can see Eddie being like a younger version of Togata even. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, but uh, that's because a lot of Fujimoto's personal self is coming through in his work, too. He loves movies, that's why he has characters that love movies. Uh, just like this work this movie that they're shooting in um the manga is kind of autobiographical but also kind of fantasy but the fantasy part is also part of the creator's personality uh the thing is when you create a manga that happens too you uh associate like you you put bits and pieces of yourself in different portions and different mix mixtures uh into place and add a bit of a fantastical twist. Like, a, not a fantastical, it doesn't need to be fantasy, like, I don't know, mermaids. But you add something that isn't real. Uh, wait, uh, haven't she already read it? Yeah, I, I did. I have read it, but maybe some viewers here haven't read Fire Punch. But you didn't spoil anything. Uh, not even with the gendering. Maybe I spoiled something right now. But anyway... Uh, yeah, it's kind of like a spoiler for Fire Punch. I'm gonna delete it real quick. Okay. No. Uh, anyway, uh, so... What I'm trying to say... No, she hasn't. Wait, who? I have... I have read Fire Punch. Why are you saying I haven't read P Fire Punch? <laughs> I've said that quite often in my streams. That Fire Punch was my introduction to Fujimoto's work. And I gave Chainsaw Man a chance because of Fire Punch. Yeah, I just haven't read it on stream. I will reread it after the interviews, though. Anyway, this is what um, it, it's it's an inception within an inception because you also have to realize that why while um, Fujimoto was drawing this manga about this topic, he also put a big chunk of himself into that too. So you're still seeing into Fujimoto's heart when you're reading uh, this manga. Uh, so yeah, we're being a little clean for those who haven't. Wait, what? This is like a social commentary on social media versus real life. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Let's continue reading. Huh? Are you recording? I sent you a get well video. Really? What is it? Oh my god, what the fuck? Is he on the toilet? He filmed himself in the toilet? I never got to record my mom going to the bathroom. 
So just to be safe, I'm recording this video of me pooping for posterity. Okay. Okay. Ew! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Have you ever watched a video of someone pooping before? <laughs> Getting right into the kink talk, huh? <laughs> oh no! Of course not, that's gross. I have lots of even nastier videos. I'll show them to you once you're better. That's disgusting. What else have you filmed that should just be private and not shown to anyone else? Oh my god. Oh god. A good friend of mine once said, In family, it doesn't matter if you see each other take a shit. Yeah, that's that was probably me. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know if it's true or not, but I feel Fujimoto tries to show someone's character by how they go to poop. I mean, okay. <laughs> Protagonist is now legally not allowed in, two, in 203 countries in the world. The manga is a, a meta theater, self referential. Yeah. Very, very meta, everything about it. <laughs> Out of pocket sometimes. <laughs> yeah, he is, but I love that about him. I love it. <clears throat> you don't get better. Huh? You don't get better. It's that kind of illness. I knew, I just... I thought I had more time. This isn't about the movie, is it? Why? Why didn't you say anything? I... When I saw your movie, the truth is I related to your mom. I know how it feels to want someone to film your death. It feels like that way. In a movie, you could keep living. I envied her for that. I have a request. I want you to film me until the moment of my death. Just like in the plot you came up with. Will you? the hell how can um i mean how can you ask me to do that who would do want to do that again running away i heard about 80 aren't you going to go to school just leave me alone Hey, Yuta, what? Get out of my room already. Your mom's final moments, I recorded them. Do you want to see? What the fuck? Yo, what is real and what is manga? <laughs> I don't know. And what is movie? <laughs> I... Oh no, that's so morbid! Uh, um, Yuta won't come out of the car. Um, so, since it's your wish, uh, I'll be recording. Why isn't Yuta here? Why? Bitch, this is real. This is fucking real. Are you fucking kidding me? Yuta, he doesn't want his mom to die, so he couldn't make it this far. Okay. 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 Okay, right. The boy was useless to the very end. Are you fucking kidding me? Is this what the kids and the teacher wanted to see? Would this have been better than the explosion? Is this what they wanted? Would this have been better?
You notice mom is kind of abusive towards him in real life, but she... Why are you... Just as I was about um, uh, to read the message, you delete it. That boy was useless to the very end. That is fucking... Kind of sad and kind of relatable. Yeah, that is so... Imagine being that the last words you hear from your mom. Yuta, hurry up and record. What are you waiting for? Don't you realize I could die? Okay. Yeah, she was a bitch. I fucking knew it the moment she said that at his birthday. I look ugly in a shot frame like that. Can't you tell that much? Do you want everyone to laugh at how ugly I am? There is no point in filming cats. Delete that. Are you stupid? Bro. Bro, no. Why the fuck am I reading this? This is insane. <clears throat> Why won't you film as I told you? Remember the money for that smartphone came out of my pocket. We're on page 125, not 60. You remember your mother was a TV producer, right? You plan to make a TV documentary about her brave battle against illness after she recovered. Since I'd be at work during the day, she had you shoot the videos. This is fucking insane, man. She punched him like full fist in the face. This is insane. Now, after knowing that, I think rereading the story one more time would give you an entirely different experience. I've seen a video about this on how the mom and Makima have similar traits, as in playing with people's emotions. I mean, yeah, I'm surprised her final words were not chainsaw man save me. Yeah, I think I commented on her appearance, but yeah, I can see other traits of Makima's in her too. <clears throat> Next week, reread of Goodbye Eri, where you analyze it with hindsight. Yeah, probably, probably. Let's do that next week. It's, it's like that plot twist in um, Tokyo Ghoul. Re spoiler by the way when we find out that Kaneki was also abused by his mother and neglected and he hated her for the abuse and so all the um, orphan who was sad about his mom's death part of the entire Tokyo Ghoul series when you re read it you see the hatred actually That and that how he just tried to lie to the reader that he loved his mom. Good, good to stream the uh, to to mute the stream. But yeah, um, <clears throat> this is uh, something that when you read, especially when you probably when we read it the second time, um, this goodbye Eddie, you're gonna view the movie 
that Yuta showed the school in a different way and how he was received in a different way and his suicide and everything is going to be viewed in a different way now that you know what you know. So I definitely want to reread it. But next time, maybe. I think he even created a personality to forget that the little black haired Kaneki, if I remember correctly. Yep. Because that's what trauma does to you. Isn't it a reread for all of us? We enjoying it. She deserves one too. And we deserve fresh tangents as well. She had you shoot the videos and the dad was all okay with the abuse and his son going through this traumatic thing. Like, as if filming his mother die on uh, her request wasn't bad enough. He was actually being abused the entire time. What, what was the dad doing just watching all of that happen and letting it happen? Son, I... I knew it was horrible, what she was doing to you, but I, I pretended not to see it, I ran away. I acted like everything was okay, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. One thing I enjoyed doing when reading, I was on mobile and held it sideways, so for most panels filled the entire screen. I was watching the movie on my phone, what, what the fuck? As if I were watching the movie on my phone. Oh, okay, okay. That's why, that's why when I watched your movie, I was shocked. In the movie, your mom was, she was a good mom. I could only see the beautiful things about her. When mom was in a bad mood, she'd give me the silent treatment. And she never praised me for anything, but... I wanted my memories of her to be beautiful. Yuta, you have the power to decide for yourself how you'll remember someone. That's an incredible thing. I think maybe Eddie wants you to choose how she'll be remembered. Like, I don't know if this is still part of the script or if she's really fucking dying. <laughs> I'm, uh... I heard you got discharged for now. Uh-huh. Can I film your every move from this point on? Thanks. By the way, what's the deal with this video? It's a video of me crapping in a field. You did it there? Oh, look at them. They went to a yokan together. Now, if this is him also just picking how he remembers Eri, maybe there were sides to her that we shouldn't see. If this is how he's choosing to depict her for us. The blurring of movie, non-movie, is what makes this one shot so special to me as well. Yeah. Yeah. This part is beautiful, just showing them having fun. Yeah. It is, but you're wondering, just like with the mother, if this is all it was. Was it just a beautiful friendship? Because for us, it was. When we just read what we're reading. But knowing what... What happened with the mother, you're left to wonder, is this really as fun as it looks like? Was this really as wholesome? 
as as it seemed to us. Oh ho. Oh ho. Yeah, they spent the night together, huh? Oh no. Yay. Oh no. Are you fucking kidding me? If that is a prop, then that's impressive, but... Hey, are you going to use the travel scenes in the movie? Hmm, yeah. What about the scene where I fell into the water? Uh, should I? Yeah. Remind me, did we shoot any kissing scenes? We did. Can I put them in? Hmm, I don't know. Should we shoot one more just to be safe? Hehe, <laughs> okay. Yuta, why did you make my character a vampire? I guess I wanted to sprinkle in a pinch of fantasy. Plus, the first time we met, you dragged me to an abandoned building out of nowhere. Doesn't that seem like something a vampire would do? It does. I thought, even if she sucks me in dry and kills me, if it means I'd become sustenance for someone this beautiful, I'm okay with that. And again, the consuming of someone else as a, a manifestation of their love, showing here too. With Fujimoto. I think Fujimoto and I were soulmates. We're using that a lot in, in our stories. Only he is actually writing and publishing his stories and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I wish I could have watched your movie. You can watch part way through it. I've been editing it as we go. I wanted to watch the finished product. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey D, what kind of movie do you want me to make it? Like what I've told you from the beginning. What was that again? A movie that will make them all... ...ball their eyes out. Fuck me, we're back there again. Shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> everyone's crying. There you go. There you go. And if she actually died, then this is even more insane. Sniff. <laughs> Stop. Doing the peace sign because the protagonist won. I would love to see someone make this to like an actual movie, fan made or not. I would love to see it. Yeah. Utah. Yes. Um, what are you recording? A cat. Listen, didn't Eddie wear glasses? I filmed her without them at her request. What about her dental retainer? And that also came off for shots at her request. So you just mindlessly obeyed your girlfriend? We were only a couple in the movie. I never dated Eddie. I did ask her out, but she rejected me. So she did fucking die in real life, too. God damn it. You'd never know it from that movie, but Eddie had a temper. She was self-absorbed. Wasn't she actually a pretty big bitch? What about you, bitch? What about you? I remember you, okay? I remember you from the beginning. Piece of shit. 
You can't comment on anything. Shut the fuck up. Or is this a movie too? I have no idea what's going on anymore. Maybe that's part of the script for the movie. Yep, she said that's why you and I were her only friends. Your 80 was a little over-idealized. Yep. But I'll, I'll always remember her like that. Thanks. His mom. Having filmed a death, the thing he couldn't do for his mother, the protagonist regains the will to live and the confidence to make movies. The end. I guess we only seen Eddie through the camera lens just like his mom. Yes, that's what I've been saying. What if that's not all it was? That was my character in the movie. In the real world, it didn't work out so smoothly for me. After the school festival, I started holing up in my room instead of going to school. I'd spend all day at my computer recutting re Eddie's movie. Even though this movie had been well received, I'd always had this nagging feeling it was missing something. The movie is called Goodbye Eddie. My hunch was that I would find the answer in the 2,728 hours of footage from my time with Eddie. I continued the recuts even after I started college. I take classes, go to my part-time job, and when I got home, I'd end the day tinkering with my 80 videos. That is so fucking sad. But I, for a while now, I've been holding back tears, and I hope they don't erupt today. I don't want that. I don't want my tears to erupt. Not today. Um, it's sad yet thought-provoking about Eddie and his mom's death. Yeah, straight pages of black panels to me, that's cinema, yeah. That theme of art letting you choose how to remember people hits different, yeah. It's like two Elder Tangents, damn. 114 days of film was done, yeah, not today. You never want your tears to erupt, yeah. Yeah, 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 I know. Still. I dropped out of college and got a full-time job. There I met the woman I would marry. We had a daughter together. Even after that, I cut and recut er Damn, she couldn't let him go, could she? She didn't let him go even after she died. Even after that, I cut and recut Eddie's movie countless times. A movie I wasn't even going to show to anyone. It's not that I was unhappy with my family. If those days had gone by until I died a suitable death, I think I'd have led a happy life. Oh my god. Oh god. It's the struggles of an artist in one movie about more movies within movies. That day, that day my wife, daughter, and father, and myself were all in the car. What the fuck? What the fuck are you on about now? I was driving. In an instant, everything went dark, like turning a TV off. The next thing I saw was the ceiling of a hospital room. Oh my god. It was exp explained to me that there had been an accident in front of us and our vehicle had been caught in it. And I was the only member of my family who'd survived. I couldn't process it. It felt like I was watching that kind of shocking tragedy scene in a movie. Fujimoto's work, it's so different than anything I've ever read before, yes. And this is one of his best works so far. It's just the uniqueness of his stories that makes it so amazing, yeah. I feel like she's reaching the limit. Those tears are coming. Stop it, it's a time skip. Yeah, no, shit. 
Maybe this is also a movie now. Yeah. I have no idea what the fuck I'm reading. I fucking hate this. No, I love it. But I hate it in a good way. Because I love it that I hate it. Couldn't process it. It felt like I was watching that kind of shocking tragedy scene in a movie. Thinking back, it was always like that. I have this ha a bad habit of viewing the problems right in front of me from an outside perspective. My mother's death, 80s. I watched them both through a camera. It was the same back in high school, when I considered suicide just like this. I could only face the facts in front of a camera. As a result, I've realized I no longer have enough soul left to endure any more deaths. Shut up. I'll die in a place that holds memories for me. The end. Shut up! Stop it! Stop! Stop right now. They won't fucking stop, I swear to god. Just getting ready in case. And no longer having any soul left in him to endure any more deaths. Fucking hell. I'll die in a place that holds memories for me. Shut the fuck up. I hate this. I hate you, Fujimoto. Not again. Not again. Fuck me up. Don't fuck me up, please. Ah. Okay, continuing. I find these short stories with, with such a pure emotion to them. They truly are the greatest. Yeah, 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 yeah. For real, this chain of fire punch, chainsaw man look back, goodbye, it is historic in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel like we will be studying Fujimoto's work in the future. Yeah. We are seeing history being made right here. Yeah, that's why he's so special in this industry. As being there, like I, I think his type of talent is one in a million, or like one in a hundred years, especially in this genre. Just let go, let go. We all cried. Shut the fuck up, yo. Got Pochita there to help behind you. Don't forget. Let it all out. I noticed that you're always angry when something sad happens. How dare this be so sad? <laughs> yeah. You're here holding our tears. It's just like rereading this whole manga. Go have Pochita go cry. Let it out. What a bunch of saddest we are. I know her eyes are blurry for real. I could hear the change in voice long back. Now I'm sad and laughing at the same time. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> we still have like. Almost 30 pages. I don't even want to know what's going to come at us. No. No. Why there? Oh, no. It's... You know what's amazing? That he lived... So many years after he met Eddie and lost Eddie, at least a decade, yet still the one place that he holds so dear is the one that Eddie took him to. Ah, shut up. Shut up. I, I know I can't cry and talk at the same time, and I do it like a moron. Anyway. It breaks my heart that, uh... This is the place that he holds so close to his heart. He's still, like, Eddie. He knew her for, what? Three years? And, uh, he had a life for at least ten more years? And still, for all these years, he could never stop working on Eddie's movie. 
And he's coming back to this place. That's how much he loved her. That's so sad. <sighs> Fucking hell. I'm getting a headache. I didn't think about it, but yeah, Yuta was going to kill himself that first time, but then he met Eddie and he and that kept him going. And what kept him going was working on the movie, too. The manga blocks are moving. Yeah, shut up. You tried to hug Pochita, maybe... Maybe try shutting the fuck up, huh? <sighs> Okay. Are we ready again? Not everything is fucking blurry. I can't, I still can't see shit. You mentioned how there's that one director that made people hurt in a physical way, not just emotionally. And reading this really made my stomach hurt, just trying to hold tears. I get that feeling, yeah. Among itself is blurry. She always liked this when she said. Who? Me? Yeah, I am. Um, got a problem with that. Got a problem with that. Leave. This is my stream. I can do whatever the fuck I want here. You I loved Eddie, but is still working on the movie. We love Fujimoto by crying from his wonderful work. That's how we praise creators. Yeah. <clears throat> I work on my uni project as long as Yuta works on Eiji's movie. <clears throat> the projector is still there. He brought a rope. This world is filled with death. Huh? Memento Mori. This is Yuta signing off. Goodbye. You're a lot older than you were back then. See, this is also... This is more meta than you think, because even these slice of life uh, one-shots that he's producing still have a twist to them that's more like fantasy, that, that's not real. That's uh, supernatural. And, um, look back, it was the two parallel worlds colliding here. Again, it's the same thing. It's that sprinkle of fantasy that he wanted to include. Um, and Fujimoto is including that too in his works that are supposed to be uh, real, like realistic, set in this world. <laughs> I hope, I hope this is it. I used up an entire fucking tissue. <laughs> yeah, you can't see. <laughs> but I don't think I have any more right here. So I hope this is it, with the crying, and it's not production. <clears throat> oh my god. Okay, I see. Oh, right. This is a dream. No, wait. Either that or I've gone crazy and I'm hallucinating. Like in the movie Permanent Nobara. No, if I had to choose, it's more like the brown bunny or the sixth sense. Except in that one, the protagonist is dead all along. Huh? 
This movie is on the right track, but it's not quite there. Huh? Sure. Uh, huh? What? Films that end with a love interest's death are a dime a dozen. I think the latter half could use a leap. Even more meta now. More Inception. It's missing a pinch of fantasy, don't you think? I feel like a sprinkle of fantasy sums up Fujimoto's work really well. He always shows very real problems, but packages them with in fantasy to make them entertaining. Goodbye, is a logical extreme to... It's not just about that. This is also a manga about creating manga. Like, what feels good in this part? What would be nice to put here? What would make my story special? A love story? How can I make a typical romance more special? Oh, this ending? Oh, it has been done before, but how can I make it my own? Like, it, this is not just about heart and and someone's soul. It's also about the process of producing a story. But also integrating this process of producing a story into the story. It's it's hard to pull that off, but he did it. Fujimoto did it. I was crying in confusion here, <laughs> even now. Uh, yeah, anyway, it feels... Uh, it really feels like he puts his experiences in his work. Yeah, he does, otherwise he wouldn't be able to produce anything organic that we could cry to. <laughs> You're talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. It does have fantasy. How made you a vampire? That isn't fantasy. I really am a vampire. The proof's right here. I'm still young, aren't I? But you died. I filmed your death. Yep, I died. But only up here. Did you know? The brain has limited storage space, just like a hard drive. In 200 years, a human's brain would fill to bursting and kill them. Like the Eddie in this movie. But the real me is a vampire, not a human. As long as my heart's intact, I'll never die. I revived three days later, with all my memories gone. The last Eddie left me a letter with instructions on how I should live. So every 200 years she dies because she overloads. And this time she got a letter from her previous self. This is fucking amazing. I'm, I'm loving this so much. I love this. I love this. I love this. Not only did he do it, but he also makes it look like he does it effortlessly. Yeah. It is Playboy Cardi. It's true. The last idiot left me a letter with instructions on how I should live. Apparently, I've lost my memories and started life over again from the beginning, like, uh, dozens of times now. Uh, yeah. It sounds like a story out of a movie. Exactly. This time, I had more than just a letter. This movie was left with it. The movie showed me what kind of person the last me was. But it was his vision of her. Again, we have to remind ourselves again. It's his vision of her that he wanted to preserve. His creation of Eddie is what she watched. This part really left me conflicted. I don't know whether to be sad or happy that she's back. I guess I'm happy. Uh, the brain overloads. How i be feeling after reading Fujimoto. Yeah, I'll drop my theory afterwards. Yeah, good. I'm grateful. I read a fantastic piece. And because of that, she can live a better, uh, better way now. Holy. Will you be able to cope with this? Everyone you love will die before you do. Your parents, sweethearts, friends. You watch them die. Or all die. Won't living like that drive you to despair? Personally, no. This is why I will... I'll give my uterus in exchange for that immortality. 
<clears throat> I think the last 80 must have been in despair, yes. But I'll be fine. Because I have this movie. I'll get to see you every time I watch it. No matter how many times I forget you, I'll remember you again and again. Isn't that beautiful? She's talking about him, not about herself. I thought the tears would stop. Bro, this was about him getting over his loved one's deaths and making them immortal, but this time he immortalized himself for someone who is actually immortal and can witness him. Fuck me. This is insane. I don't have any tissues. Why would you make that? Why would you do that? I found some tissue. Why would you do that, bitch? Okay, I thought this was beautiful before, but it gets even more beautiful with each fucking page. I fucking hate this. With each twist, it gains another step of beauty. And, and she says it too. It's beautiful. Just like me, it's, I, I want to say it's tragic, but no, it's a beautifully constructed story. This is beautiful. The message is beautiful. The intentions are beautiful. The emotions are beautiful. The conflicts are beautiful. Everything is beautiful. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I don't like people talking during movies. So if you aren't going to sit down, could you see yourself out? Yeah, I will. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. After that, she and I would never meet again. You see, I'd finally figured it out. The reason I'd re uh, recut that film so many times. It's missing a pinch of fantasy, don't you think? <laughs> and that's the end. I love that. I love that. Fujimoto, you fucking beast. That that was fantastic. I want to have that on my shelf too. I love this. Oh, let me read the fucking chat. And now it is the one watching an idealized version of Yuta and remembering him in a better way, too. Uh, to be honest, if I were given the ability to be immortal, I would like it being like 80, where every hundred or so years the memory would just get reset. If I still have memories of every single person that has died, I would just be in constant sadness and missing uh, feeling of that person. The thing is, even now that you're alive, have you never lost anyone? Have you ever met anyone, been friends with them, and then stopped being friends with them? That's what would happen w with um, immortality, you being immortal. People coming into your life and going, and you make new friends. And then they go and you make new friends. And then they go and you make new friends. And uh, just like she says, if the brain would overload, it would intentionally erase some memories. Or you would evolve in a way that would give you the capacity to keep it all in. 
there's um no need to forget anything I, that that would be point like it would be pointless to be immortal like your body to be immortal but yourself to to die that's what i want i want myself to be immortal with my body like together with my body i don't want amnesia every couple of hundred years i want to keep being me and continuing to live uh lmao no what did you do daisy <laughs> Oh, we, oh, oh, where's the fucking chat? Uh, a theory I think is beautiful is that this older Yuta is probably his father. This is likely the ending they filmed ahead of time so that Eddie would know how it actually ended before she passed away. Maybe. Who knows? <clears throat> I love this ending with the explosion. The ultimate punchline. Because there's... There could be, like, there's a lot of meaning in whatever theory you pick. It has a different meaning than uh, when you tie it together uh, to the stories of the characters. And all of them are a possibility. This is what I love about this um, Inception type of plot here. Uh, in Goodbye, Eddie. I love this ending with the explosion. Yeah, the ultimate punchline. Yuta grew up looking a lot like his father. Yeah. I mean, that's normal. That's genes. Boom. One last pinch of fantasy. I was so proud of myself for predicting the whole thing from the first couple of pages. I couldn't predict anything. You get over it quickly. I definitely have lost people in my life and it definitely broke me and I do try to overcome it, but it is hard sometimes. But there are also some people in my life that I definitely don't want to forget. Yeah. Now, I lost my father two years ago, and it feels uh, like just yesterday. I understand that, but um, because I've lost people too, but uh, and it changes you, yeah. But you also don't want to forget them. And you also, this is maybe like a masochistic thing, you also don't want to forget the pain of losing them. It feels wrong to uh, live and not remember them with pain in your heart. So, yeah. Hi, Brad. Um, not gonna lie, I admire your mindset about immortality. It's such a fascinating outlook on life. I think it's very optimistic. <laughs> Respectable. I was laughing during the immortality tangent. It was so well-timed in today's stream. It- I- I'm telling you! I'm telling you, Fujimoto and I, we're- we're soulmates. We're in one mind, split into two bodies. <laughs> uh, if you want to read a manga about immortality, do I want to do that? Uh, I like the thought that the entire one shot is just a recut of the movie itself. Hence the name of the movie being the same as the title. And this explosion is his ending. And also the character, like the older version of Yuta looking like his dad. Like, there's lots of meanings. Uh, and, and all the theories would have different meanings. But they would all still be part of the same thing. Like, no theory... Like, every theory you come up with can be part of the same structure. Not like with other stories where one theory would negate another theory or make another theory redundant or impossible. It's like all theories can come in together and um, build the same story and give you, again, a different outlook on what you read. Also, what I meant is in, like, forgetting is probably more in forgetting the bad moments, not people. Yeah, that's probably much better than just forgetting a whole person that you knew. Yeah, but that happened to me, actually. <laughs> uh, that's why after some time you, you get over it, but the fact that the person perished still exists, the fate hasn't changed. Yeah, we're such uh, mystical creatures. I, I, actually, that has happened to me. That I didn't even know that I had forgotten a person until they were mentioned again and i was so confused like again after like 15 years or so not 10 years 10 years 
And um, and I was like, who? Who? Who are you talking about? Who is this? And as soon as I remembered, suddenly it was as if my entire memory of my life was rewritten and suddenly a new character appeared in those memories. It was like you would see in a fucking movie where a person that was missing were right out of shot. Oh, and then you see it. Uh, and I'm talking about movies too. Like I'm talking like the characters in this fucking manga. But and then you uh, in the flashback, you. You include that person or make them appear in the photograph or behind that other person or whatever, or behind the camera. Uh, it, it was this type of moment, like when I suddenly remembered that person because my, I think it was my entire family telling me about that person. And it didn't make click until they were all done complaining to me about how I forgot that person and described that person to me, then made click. And my entire memory of my past was rewritten and it was like this new character appeared and I was wondering how the fuck could I forget them? They were there in my entire childhood. I remember what they looked like. I remember their name. I remember what they were like suddenly. But had this not happened, this interaction with my family where they mentioned that person, I wonder if I would have lived my entire life just having forgotten an entire existence. It, insane. Absolutely insane. Fujimoto out here writing love letters in form of a manga for Elda. <laughs> when are these two marrying, for fuck's sake? <laughs> Friarin, Friarin is good. It is better than to your eternity. I have no idea what you are talking about. What these two... Uh, manga, I'm assuming you're talking about are... Um, there's so many meta layers you can dive into. It's stunning. Yes, and it's beautiful. It's fantastic. I love it. I think the one shot is in fact the final cut of the movie, but where it comes down to interpretations when you try to figure out which of the panels are real and which ones are scripted uh, in this universe. Yeah, I uh, guess there's a Pochita next to me. Uh, and glad we have something in common. I love Fujimoto's works, too. Uh, yeah, I also think that's the final cut of the movie. But, like, was it done... Was it filmed beforehand? And um, that's why we have, like, a time skip? Or um, was it done uh, by someone... Like, by, by the same character grown up but afterwards and including this part was that part the end not just the explosion but the end with eddie and so on which part is fantasy this is what you can't you can't distinguish in this manga which part is the movie when was it shot what is real what is fantasy there are so many things you cannot detect and does it even matter you will never find out. You won't find out. All the theories are beautiful. And they don't exclude each other. Um, uh, I'm so bad with people's... Uh, remembering people's uh, names. Uh, but I never forget faces. Um... I never cried about Fujimoto manga, but go and cry about a manga like Tokyo Revengers. Like, what the f heck is wrong with me? I don't know. <laughs> Definite moment. Sorry, I'm gonna marry him first. Tough luck. <laughs> when people mention something that you totally forgot in life, it feels like a whole new chapter in your life got unlocked. It is insane. Yeah. As Elda's manager, bitch, you have to pass through the me first. <laughs> What's your rating on each of Fujimoto's work you have read uh, so far, Elda? I think Eddie and Chainsaw Man is 10 out of 10 for me. Maybe I like Chainsaw Man a little bit more. Honestly, I love all of them equally. Because this is one of the rare instances where you have the entire man, Fujimoto, in all of his works. There's consistency in all of his works. That which permeates all of his works, it, it's, it's consistent, and it is the man himself. And, um, 
And that's why I can't see them separately. Reading Fujimoto's works is um, getting to know Fujimoto himself. You can't be like, oh, I want to uh, marry someone, but not, I don't know, um, we're talking about marriage. Let's say um, I want to get, I want to be friends with someone, but you choose which part of their lives you want to get to know. Like they are, I don't know, they want to tell you about their favorite food and you're like, nah, that's, that's not interesting to me. Let's talk about something else. No. So this is why I'm saying all of his works is be it's because you're not just seeing inside the mind of someone, you're also having bits and pieces of his heart exposed here. But a lot of his mind, of course. And uh, you just want to s read his creation in order to see what this man, Fujimoto, is creating. Of course, for the sake of the stories themselves, the separate things, uh, you appreciate them too. But it's one of the rare instances where you can't really separate the author from um, the creation, the artist from the creation. Um, it's uh, get, getting to know Fujimoto is getting to know his work and getting to know his work is getting to know Fujimoto. Consuming his stories is consuming him. And consuming him is the highest form of love. There we go. We have consumption to show love as a form of uh, beauty, I guess. I don't know. Why are there two chats? Because uh, one is from Twitch, yours is t from Twitch, and the other one is from YouTube. My memory is so bad. All moments in life are like this for me. I feel the protagonist was... Oppa. The protagonist was waiting for a time to do the final part. His family passed away and then put together himself with the old footage as a final goodbye to the favorite part of his life. Fujimoto san visited France twice. I am totally shipping you both. Why, of course, is his best work, in my opinion. You mean Fire Punch? <laughs> Combines all of his works in a way. <laughs> if I had to rank Fujimoto's major works, it would be a look back over Fire Punch, over Chainsaw Man, over Goodbye Eddie, based on my personal enjoyment. Uh, Soul Eater was better. <laughs> yes, Fire Punch, what the fuck did I <laughs> For me, Goodbye Eddie is his most emotionally striking work, but I can't decide ranking in general. I'm not a ranking person, same. Uh, I love them all. Uh, I love all of them. The man progresses in storytelling in every work, yet it feels consistently good. Yeah. Man, I meant Fire Punch, sorry. Fujimoto is an uh, author just like Hideaki Anno. Auteur? The fuck is an auteur? I have no idea what you're saying. My fear would be evolving to being able to store 1000 plus years of info all at once. Other than that, immortality wouldn't be that bad, in my opinion. I'm going to eat Fujimoto. <laughs> Not before I eat him. <laughs> I've been doing some homework while listening to you. Thanks for accompanying me with your opinions and tangents. I I am honored. I am honored. Thanks. Thank you for accompanying me on my journey with these manga. Otter, like in the otter theory. I have no idea what you're talking about, Akagetsugami. You would need to send me a link to that or something. Uh, hey, could you help me with my producer tag? Could you just say, hey, Nico, wait, what? Okay. Hey, Nico. Uh, so you're going to read the other older one shots too? Of course. Of course. I want to get to know the creative mind of Fujimoto. So, I will read all of his works. He's a true artist. A true artist, yes. Send it to you on Discord. Okay, thank you. Um, an artist through and through. Not just in uh, his ideas and visions and how he wants to uh, lay them out, but also how he really just has the skill for this medium 
to draw out more of his ideas. Like, it's a perfect marriage. Like, sometimes it's... When you find a piece of clothing, and the piece of clothing is beautiful, and you yourself are fine, and when you put them together, like, sometimes it doesn't work out. Or, like, it, it, it looks good, it still looks good, but maybe it looks better on someone else. Or maybe it's actually ugly, but on you it looks really good. Me hey, look, Fujimoto and Manga are a perfect marriage, is what I'm trying to say. They both fit each other. Bring out the maximum out of each other. So, I really appreciate the marriage of Fujimoto and Manga. Sadly, his first one shot, paper plane where something is lost to time, a piece of lost media. Really? For his next one shot, I really recommend Yogen no Nayuta. No, the perfect marriage is me and Fujimoto. Uh, wasn't paper plane re released in the one shot compilation? I'm gonna read that probably in my free time, unless they really plan on having an official English release for that. Uh, <clears throat> I can't wait for more stuff from him. He's still just at the beginning of his career. Agreed. Agreed. Absolutely agreed. I recommend my bro Kamadi go- No, you don't recommend that. <laughs> you don't. I didn't even finish one chapter and bawled my eyes out and put it on my to-read list to cry about it later because I, I got a headache from crying and I didn't even finish the first chapter. My broken Mariko is insane. If you enjoy crying and headaches, yeah, I recommend that one. It's so fucking sad and so good, but... I had to stop. I put it on my to-read list so I can read it, hopefully on YouTube and Twitch, on my channel. If you want to have an emotional journey of love and loss, yes, it is sh short, just like goodbye. It, yeah, it's just one volume. Have you read Doro Head Doro? Are you for real? Based on how much Chainsaw Man is selling, I'm very certain that every Fujimoto work is going to be localized sooner or later. I fucking hope so. He's a living legend. We're really seeing a legend being made. We're so blessed to be alive at the same time as Fujimoto and witnessing his greatness pan out in front of us. I'm fucking hungry. I need to traumatize myself as much as possible before going to therapy, whenever that is. You're gonna read the other people who worked on Fire Punch with what? They all have gone on to... Ah, oh, yeah, I yeah. mean you, other people, like his assistants works. Like, um, Spy, uh, Spy Family, Dun Dun Dun, and um, Hell's Paradise. Yeah, they're on my list later. I want them first to... I know Hell's Paradise, I think, is finished. I don't know about the other two. I think they're still continuing. So I want to wait until they're, they've accumulated more chapters before I start reading them. So yeah. Uh, this is some European chick dorohedro play playlist. Read dan da dan da dan. Most of them are not that great, to be honest. Dan da dan is funny. Hey, just asking. Did you ever read the lookism? You mean the, uh, the webtoon called lookism? Yep, but then I dropped it because I got tired of it. Yeah, Hell's Paradise is the only one finished so far. I think I dropped it five, six years ago. Five years ago, six years ago. I dropped it. I got tired of it. Uh, yeah, Hell's Paradise is finished. Dun, dun, dun is coming out each Monday. And Spy Family is bi-weekly in Jump Plus. Again, all the dun, dun, dun. Anyway. In fact, Chainsaw Man Part 2 is going to be published in Jump Plus 2, which means it has more liberties with storytelling than when it wasn't shown in Jump. I've read Lookism. I also dropped it. Just got kind of bored of it. Yeah. Die Dark is also good. Anyway. Uh, that was fantastic, as usual. I didn't expect to not have a good time with the Fujimoto work. Uh, so, um... 
I'm fucking hungry. I need to go eat something. Uh, to repeat myself, I love Fujimoto. I love everything he does. Except if that's true, what someone wrote in a comment somewhere. That he ate his pet fish or something when it died. It's kind of sick. But we saw in his comics that consuming what you love is the most beautiful expression of love. Because you're becoming one. That which you consume becomes part of your cellular makeup and is immortalized within you. So, um, I keep saying it, but Fujimoto and I, we're fucking soulmates. Have you noticed that every time I talk about something on stream, like, the more we progress, the more we see how... how I fucking nailed it. Like, I don't know, the tone, the idea, the concept, the reference. It, it's all... We're, we're the same fucking person, dude. I'm just as talented and creative and hardworking as Fujimoto, and I'm definitely gonna be as successful as him. We're the same fucking person. That's what I don't mean when I say that, okay? I'm just saying... I'm just saying we're thinking the same way. Maybe not the same way, but... <laughs> but there are some, some nice coincidences. Like, whenever I come up with something or comment on something, nice to see that kind of confirmed in his work then as the story progresses um that's all i wanted to say uh now blow up your system to end the stream i mean obs blew up in the middle of the stream anyway it got interrupted too and they had to restart it just like this character had to restart the movie it's all Consistent with the theme of the stream. It's all consistent. Um, come to Dorohedoro and Golden Kamui streams, everyone. I Yes, I implore you to. We're having such a good time with those. I woke up feeling like total shit, but after watching the stream, I had a lot of fun. I still feel like shit. Okay, well... <laughs> well, I don't know how to help you. <laughs> I dropped it too, but I got back to it recently, and it got way better. Great story and characters. I kind of doubt it, but okay. Fujimoto is my husband. Stop. Okay, T.R. T. Ryulo. Does Fujimoto ever do book signs? I don't know. He said he doesn't want to reveal his face, and I don't know if he's going to sit there with a mask on. But I don't know. Uh, where, where's some French chick in chat? Uh, if you're in France, you have better chances of meeting um, Fujimoto than if you're in Japan, I guess. Because in Japan, he's probably just working the entire fucking time. And when he's in France, that's when he takes time off, right? So, um, you have better chances of meeting him in the streets or something. Maybe walking past him, not noticing it's him. Um, than anywhere else. Uh... With him never really showing his face, probably not. Would love to meet him one day, not gonna lie. Yeah, right? I don't want to shake his hands, but as an equal, that would be nice. I'd be like, hey, you inspired me. This is what I produced. You don't have to like it. I'm just trying to tell you, you inspired me so much that I took a step forward to inspire others with my own vision and storytelling. You made me do that. I don't know if you heard my stomach growling. You made me do that. And for that I'm thankful. Now I can look you in the face as an equal. As also someone who inspired people. And say thank you. From creator to creator. <laughs> that would be the dream. Um, creative and hardworking, definitely. Oh, no. Kaboom. I wonder where some European chick bot is. <laughs> Doesn't want to reveal his face. Levitating video. <laughs> but then again, we have no idea if that's really him. Uh, anyway. Angoulême Festival, yeah. Uh, he could do a signing in a fursona, like the Rito of Healer author or something. Oh my god. 
It will come for Chainsaw Man Part 2 soon. <laughs> the day he reveals his face, he would find the way to levitate. <laughs> on my way to shake every Asian person's hand. On the off chance that it's... <laughs> Fujimoto. <laughs> Do not speak of Ridu and Fujimoto in the same sentence. I fucking agree. Hey, your stomach rolled. Not the levitating video. What would Fujimoto's persona be? Let's not talk about that, especially after I watched... What was his name? Turkey Tom? A YouTuber. He was like 19 years old and a commentary YouTuber. I don't know how you can be that and be... healthy here. Um, he made a video about like a furry... I, I, I watched it last night. It, it was released last night while I was um, getting ready for bed, you know, brushing my teeth, putting on my face mask and whatever. Uh, please don't remind me of furries right now. I got sick of because of that video. Anyway, bear. I'm from France. Maybe I already see Fujimoto. Yeah, maybe. And you don't know. It is. It came from a website he owned, and the video was linked to the same place some of his OG one-shots are. Okay, so it is him. Doesn't matter. He was like a teenager. He changes. There was like, what, 10 pixels in that video? We saw him for like a split second. Doesn't matter. Anyway. Uh... Oh, we need anime man to interview Fujimoto. I don't actually need anime man. The anime interviewing Fujimoto. <laughs> I don't need that. <laughs> I'd be okay if... Uh, what was his name? Giguk? Yeah, okay, if he does it. Uh, the anime man, I don't know. I don't vibe with his videos. I don't, don't really. But then again, I don't watch him. I watched one or two videos and didn't vibe with them. Maybe he changed. Uh, but anyway, I don't need the anime man. If you want me to, you know, I, I can step up, you know. I can volunteer and interview him. <laughs> and bring it on my channel with my 2,000 subscribers. Hell yeah. I'll give him some exposure, that man. He'll thank me. <laughs> For getting interviewed by moi. I will live stream me and his wedding. <laughs> we need Elda to interview Fujimoto. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Epi knows me perfectly. On and off record. Oh yeah, cool. Okay, did you read Beastars though? No. An Elda interview with Fujimoto would be crazy. Happy 2000 subscribers, by the way. Well, thank you. You might prefer that. June, so how will you pay Fujimoto's son for the interviews? Hell, exposure. The fuck is June? But yeah, exposure. Yeah, that's what you do. You know, he's an artist, and I'm someone who's just offering him something for his work. Exposure, so more people can find him. Maybe two thousand. Uh. Jun is his editor, isn't it? Nin Shihei? Nin Shihei and Jun. Who the fuck is Jun? You speak French? Yes, un petit peu. And that's what I said. <laughs> uh, anyway, I I will learn perfect Japanese for that interview. I'll, if you want me to, you know. We can make a petition, at, and if we reach, like, a hundred votes, I'll fucking learn Japanese, be, be super fluent, like, native speaker level, go to Japan, find him, interview him, stream that on my channel, uh, give him the exposure he deserves, you know? He'll be grateful, thank me for the interview, and um, uh, everyone will love me, finally, someone will love me. For doing something. Fujimoto likely speaks English. The amount of movies he watches. Yep, probably. Maybe. I, I'd assume so too. If you're that interested in foreign culture. Like even media culture. You want to learn that language. I say that from a personal experience. 
Like I've um, watched things in specific languages and when you watch a lot of that, you want to be like, I want to understand everything like an insider because a lot of things get lost in translation. I watched a movie, uh, now what the fuck is it called in English? No Man's Land? It's about the Bosnian War. And um, watching it in Bosnian is a totally different experience than watching it with the subtitles, English subtitles, because uh, the entire cultural mentality, the way they speak, it doesn't come through with the subtitles. You need to know, you need to be an insider in that culture, learn how they speak, um, to, 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 yeah, to get to know the, the spirit of the culture in order to understand fully uh, the, the entirety of the movie or the situation that is happening in the movie. So I, I can see him studying English, maybe, uh, maybe even um, spending some time abroad um, to get to know the culture from the inside. I could see him going through that too, just because I myself am like that uh as well and and I'm totally like Fujimoto he's so like me whatever I think about he probably thinks about too uh, whenever I say I would do that in this situation you can bet on Fujimoto thinking the same thing basically just look at me and you're looking at Fujimoto I'm a proxy I'm a proxy Fujimoto for you all thank me that's what it is. Uh, the urge to learn fluent Japanese to speak to a legendary mangaka. Yeah. <laughs> you want to uh, likely speak? Oh, yeah. yeah. And travels? Yeah. Oh, Fujimoto-san. Watashi wa ochinchin desu ka? What? You got uh, some Japanese chick from where you came? <laughs> yeah. I feel like I was offensive just now. <laughs> you will eat you, to be very fair. I know a bit of Japanese. What did you say that? Uh, what? Wait, what? So basically, just like watching a Bollywood movie. Oh. He makes references to Oasis in his manga. This guy knows English. No one who doesn't speak English would know about Oasis. Who? I have no idea who who or what the Oasis is. But um, yeah. Uh. Anyway, I already speak a little bit of Japanese. I would definitely. Get back into my studies. Take it up a notch. Go to native speaker level and um, go to Japan just for for you all. You know, I'd do it for you and for him to give him more exposure. Definitely no motives from my side. Uh, yeah. But then again, remember this. I, I'm just saying that because we're all just a Fujimoto simping channel here. We're all a fandom. Uh, the, the entire fandom is just Fujimoto Sims. We have to remind ourselves. Don't meet your god. Maybe that's a good thing that we haven't met him, that we don't know him in person. We want to know the creator, Fujimoto, through his creation. We don't want to know the human, the person. That's taking a poop and not filming himself doing that. We don't want to know about that, Fujimoto. We just want him to produce more manga that we can slurp up and consume. And that's what we care about as fans, realistically speaking. Because um, getting to know Fujimoto, the person, like the human person, is an entire different thing than getting to know him as a creator. You have to keep those two separate. Um, like, as long as you admire Fujimoto, I don't think you want him to be your, I don't know, husband, um, whatever. It would be weird for both you and him. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, Oasis is the song, which was a major reference for Look Back, Don't Look Back, In Anger. Yeah, I know. Wonderwall band, okay. Uh, I'm pretty good with hiragana and katakana. Is the ka uh, kanji that's so hard? 
uh, about to take years to learn uh, to do all just uh, to speak to Fujimoto. They're not that hard to learn. I mean, they are, yeah. But um, Heisik, um, he, uh, Heisik, the, the one who wrote the um, remembering the kanji, reading the kanji, uh, he makes it like, mo mo um, he presents you a more efficient way to um, learn kanji. And uh, everything you learn and study, be it another language, a writing system, whatever, it's like a muscle. You need to repeatedly use it in order for it to not deteriorate and completely be lost to you. So you, you'd have to consist consistently be confronted with kanji and then it would be easier. Just like for me, um, English uh, feels natural to me now, like speaking in English, because I'm just used to it. Uh, had I taken a time off from English, I would um, maybe have a stronger German accent or Slavic accent, depends. Uh, maybe I would have a harder time uh, formulating sentences, choosing the correct words, which I, I already have a hard time doing that, you know. But that's not because of English, you know. I'm, I'm doing that in German, too. So. <laughs> so I'd have an even harder time, you know. Oh, it's almost 4.30 p.m. and I still haven't eaten a single meal today, except that one protein bar. This is a British band, the first page of Look Back has Don't... Uh, yeah, I know that one. It's just, I'm saying, um, because someone said, I think you said, that no one who speaks English or knows about the English language uh, uh, doesn't know Oasis, whereas here I am, I'm an example. I don't know who they are. Like, I know which role they play in uh, Look Back and so on, but I don't know them. I know just that one song because someone mentioned Wonderwall. Okay, I know it, and I hate it. <laughs> so, but I don't know them otherwise. Like, I didn't know Wonderwall was created by a band called Oasis. Technically, we don't know if Fujimoto has filmed himself shitting or not. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And maybe those panels were autobiographic. <laughs> Bro, Fujimoto Levitating has more than one million views because he he's just that much of a beast. We're basically at eight hour stream. Told you, I know how L functions, glug glug glug. English is my second language and sometimes I would forget some of the words from my native language and I have to use English at some Yeah, same. And confirm when we talk in German, half of the time it's just us looking for words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the stream started at 2 p.m. or so and it's close to 9 p.m. So yeah, anyway. Uh, it was really a four-hour stream. Who would have thought? Four hour stream. Anyway. Uh enough for today. Enough. Uh so yeah, uh, anyway, <laughs> good, good one shot, Fujimoto Goat, we love him, we simp for him, uh, for my message to him, the person Fujimoto would be, please take f breaks, do whatever you need to, to enjoy your life, like, um, take it easy. You're more important than creator Fujimoto, okay? Nothing happened outside. For creator Fujimoto to exist, the person Fujimoto needs to be alive and well and happy. Nurture person Fujimoto so that perhaps creator Fujimoto can thrive, thrive uh, as a creator. And person Fujimoto can derive strength from creator Fujimoto as some pride. So, that's all I wanted to say. I'll get sleep now. Yeah, <laughs> do it. Uh, who are you telling enough? <laughs> Everyone and myself. 
thank you for the amazing stream. It was really entertaining. See you on the next stream. Well, thank you. Thank you for the nice words. I married him. Okay, okay. I hope you can live a comfortable and fulfilling life. Now, he deserves it for all his hard work. Even without hard work, he would deserve it. But yeah, I know what you mean. I agree. Uh, so yeah. Uh, this is it for today. Uh, we love Fujimoto again. Uh, more Fujimoto next time. Maybe we can reread. I'm gonna think about whether we should reread Goodbye Eddie next time or not. Uh, but if not, then next time we're getting into interviews with Fujimoto, getting to know him more, you know, from his own personal view. We're getting to know him more next time, next Monday. Um, and then after that, Fire Punch, a reread. Uh, yeah, maybe give it some time before rereading. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, okay, this is it. Uh, have a nice day, evening, or night, wherever you are. Bye bye.